This episode is brought to you by the Living by the Indwelling Life of Christ Discipleship Course. This course is all audio, and it comes with a digital workbook, plus two bonus books that you can only get by signing up for the course. The course gives you a practical look at how to apply Paul's words in Galatians 2.20. It is not I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. Yes, but how? How do we practically live by divine life? the life of Christ that indwells us. This is what the course explores. Over 2,000 people from all over the world have taken it. You have it for life, and you take it at your own pace. If you're interested, go to thedeeperjourney.com. That's thedeeperjourney.com. You can check out free samples there also. Hi, Fun Seekers. Welcome to another edition of the Christ is All podcast. I'd like to talk about the cost of challenging the status quo. If you happen to have the heart of a revolutionary, this story that I'm about to tell may be an encouragement to you. Way back in the year 1860, the science of bacteriology was still in its infancy. In that day, surgeons would operate with bare hands and their instruments were not heat sterilized, nor were they disinfected chemically. As a result, the post-operative mortality rate was kicking around 90% in numerous hospitals. In that context, a man named Joseph Lister launched a passionate campaign against the unsanitary practices and poor hygiene of surgeons. Most doctors scoffed at Lister's campaign. They felt that his heartfelt plea to have surgery that was antiseptic was over the top and misguided. He was ridiculed, criticized, and dismissed by the majority of surgeons and doctors. But despite the negative reactions he received by the medical profession, he found one convert, Dr. Joseph Lawrence. Basing his work on Lister's research, Lawrence developed an antibacterial liquid that was manufactured in one city. Some years later, around 1880, the product was named after Joseph Lister, who had then become a well-known and controversial figure on two continents. Interestingly, surgeons who began employing Lister's ideas of good hygiene were having fewer post-operative infections, as well as increased survival rates. Listerism, quote-unquote, was being hotly debated in medical journals by competent doctors who were both pro and against. It was also being discussed in the popular media. This antiseptic liquid, inspired by Lister and made accessible by Lawrence, came to be known as Listerine. So the next time you swirl some Listerine in your mouth, or one of the knockoffs, just remember, it came at the price of one man's reputation, a man who was ridiculed, criticized, and dismissed by the professional medical community, but who, after many years, was vindicated. Thank you, Mr. Lister, for not giving up your convictions. May your tribe increase. I'm sure you'll be able to find some spiritual parallels in that story. God bless. Hey guys, this is a postscript just before you head out and we part ways. I have created a bundle of free resources. This would include my other podcasts, the YouTube channel, several free ebooks, free seminars, and other free resources. And you can find all of that at frankviola.com. And if you go to frankvella.com, you will see in the top menu a link that says free stuff. You just click on that and you will be taken to the free resources page. Also, a number of you have asked if you could donate to help defray the costs of the podcasts and also to express appreciation for the value that you've been receiving. You're under no obligation to donate. I don't ask for donations, but should you have it on your heart to do so, you can go to Frank Viola. Dot us that's frankviola.us and that will take you to a donate page there's three different options you can use to donate all of them simple thank you very much and god bless